Hey there guys, welcome back to Banished. It's year 18 and the town hall is almost done. And once it is done, the two builders working on it are going to become fishermen because people keep dying. And at the moment it's the fishermen dying, which is far from ideal. We do have some houses with some, uh, with some younger people moving into them. I mean, for 2014 couple is a bit concerned, but at least they've not had a kid yet. Keita being yet, I wouldn't be surprised if they do by the end of the year. The town hall, finally, it's getting there. You can almost see stuff. I can't remember what the town hall shows me, I've watched it for so long. I think it was it's various stats I wanted it for. Okay, builders, you can become fishermen. Okay, overview. I kind of already had that, but that's fine. Production it shows me my um, used and production rates for everything. So, I over five years, especially food is what I'm interested in. I am making about a thousand food a year. Um, I've got a trader, so I'll come back to that in a second. What are you selling? Wheat seeds, walnut seeds, and chestnut seeds. I'd quite like all of those. Um, but I'll start with. 3,125. Um, now I am okay for high coats at the moment, so I could trade out like 30 coats. Well, that's not much. How old is 100? I'm not as good for tools, especially due to our lack of iron. Um, I could probably do the firewood fine. That, that might cause an issue. Uh, 400 venison. Although realistically, there would be no issue with me trading out a load of fish. So I'm overpaying by 65. Let's take out a coat or two. Go down to 25 coats. Uh, an additional 10. Oh, I could do 10 fish. Trade. I now no longer want to buy wheat seeds. Here go. Right, so I can plant wheat. Um, probably not worth doing it this year, and I need to work out where I'm going to put the farm first. Anyway, uh, a full full inventory. That's nice. Graphs. Uh, if I put that over 25 years, so that's where I started. That's my that's my population graph. So, see, children, and students are pretty steady. Population in general has been pretty steady. It's it's stagnated, which is less than ideal. And adults is massively dropping. This is why we need the population growth. But people aren't having kids quickly enough. Food is increasing as we would like. That was pretty concerned two years ago when we ran out of firewood. But it's not been an issue this year. No nomads, and then this is the seeds we have. So. That's my useful sheet to look at. So I actually have plums, and yeah, I didn't. I don't think I knew I had plums, but I do. So I can set up a plum orchard, and I can set up a wheat field. Goodness knows where. And then a plum orchard could go over here easily enough. I can't remember what the optimal size for an orchard is. 10 by 15 seems like it would be reasonable. Plum! <laughs> it's going to need some uh, farmers. Was it three farmers, really? You could probably do with one. I'll take a fisherman off and make them a farmer in the plum, plum orchard. So the plum orchard will give me wood as well. because they will chop down the trees when they reach their age limit. Uh, who? The teacher? Ah, now. Uh, A. Ah, I see why we've got so many labourers. It's because the teacher died. So suddenly all of the students have entered our labourer pool. Um, but I've got a teacher again. 
Well, that has served the purpose of giving me some new laborers, <laughs> which I did need. So what we're going to do is make a couple stone cutters. We're going to make two builders. We're going to make a couple more stone cutters. Um, we're going to turn on the building of those two houses. Quite useful. Tools are a concern. Um, iron is a concern. We just don't have any iron. Wasn't expecting 10 people to enter my labour pool so quickly. I mean, we've got a lot of iron earmarked for collection. It's just their lack of tools that's going to cause an issue with that. But it looks like they are getting on with it nicely. <laughs> um, okay, that was an unexpected, unexpected influx of adult labourers <laughs> from the teacher dying. Um, oh, I guess we could have a physician now. <laughs> It's, it's honestly definitely going to be worth looking at that mine, isn't it? Um, okay, I really can't put it in there. Or over here, I don't know. I've kind of... That was the only real place I could put it, wasn't it? <laughs> Put one there, which does somewhat eat into my housing. I can't, can't get one over here. I can get one on here, actually. That would be, that'd be quite a good place for one. And honestly, just build it. We've got the labourers for it now. <laughs> Yeah, people are moving in. Honestly, could do with some more housing. Let's see, how do I want to lay this out? I'm thinking like so. I probably don't need all of those to be built right this second. Build four of them though, sure. Or two, actually. Build two, because I want the stone I want enough stone to go to the mine. So that it actually gets built. Health, I'm still a concern. No idea what's going on with this health situation. We are instantly getting a load of new kids born. The schoolhouse is now doing nothing again. Uh, this nine-year-old is probably going to be about to go to school. Uh, reserve of everything is low, yeah. I mean, it's nothing new. <laughs> How are we doing in terms of... Okay, we've fully stocked up the trading post with tools again, so the next tools should start actually going to the citizens. I should have turned off the trading post getting tools. But we do have irons. The tools are being made. These houses are being made. They've got their resources, so next stone should be getting put in the mine. We've not quite got enough straight off. Um, luckily we've got some spare labourers to replace people dying of old age. And people are starting to get tools again now. down to nine waiting tools. There is one tool, eight, eight left, one in the stockpile, so... Someone is cold. Why are you cold? No one should be cold. Go home, turn on your fireplace. Ignore the fact that I'm yet to upgrade any of these houses to stone and that if we have a fire that is going to be a serious issue. Either of those like going to be built anytime soon, <laughs> or we're we just going to think about it. I like the way we are putting stone in the mine, though. That is useful. 
I still don't really have enough labourers to be miners, but I guess I could always take some off the stone cutting if I decide I need more iron. At the moment, that's the way it looks. Well, I just lost all, lost all the stone there. I assume it's about to be put in the mine. Yes, people are carrying lots of stone. 17 left. So they are prioritising the mine over the houses, which is weird. That's the first time I've seen them prioritise something other than housing. Farmer has died and been replaced. It's going to be a few years till the orchard becomes any use. Um, just because it takes a while for the trees to grow, but it will happen. I might tell them to chop that tree down. Just so I don't have to worry about it in the future. So it's a bit weird out there on its own. Yeah, still waiting for 17 stone. Reserve of firewood is low. Uh, got plenty of logs. Like, I mean, I know the logs are all up. They're, they're all up here, literally all of them. <laughs> uh, there's like 20 elsewhere, the rest of them are up here. Also, why are we stockpiling firewood up here as well? Are we really that short in stockpile space? No, this one's empty. Not that short on it then. Um, so the mine is underway. It's just just that last 14 stone. Which, I mean, we are now out of stone again in stockpile. But they are making it. Uh, we, we made 54 last year. And it's now spring. So I will leave it there. Um, well, our population has finally increased a bit. Not, not the way I wanted. Um, the teacher dying and our entire student population suddenly entering the labour pool simultaneously was less than ideal. But that's fine. So thanks for watching, like and subscribe if you enjoyed, want more, and I'll catch you in the next one.